Hey there everyone, John from Trizity Traveling. Today's trip report takes us to Phoenix with American Airlines of all things. If you followed my trip reports in the past, primarily I am a Delta Flyer and I'm trying to branch out. This trip report on American Airlines is on an A320 in their first class cabin, so I'll be giving you some details of the first class experience and includes a light breakfast today, so we'll be able to check that out. Before we get into the trip report, however, please take a moment to click that subscribe button and hit the reminder bell to be notified of future trip reports and other things. Let's get on to the trip report. Well, thanks, America, and I'm glad I'm here too. If you can see on the screen there, it is 5.10 a.m. when I'm checking in. One perk of first class is checked bag is free. So I took advantage of that. I'm a big fan of not carrying a bunch of crap on the airplane with me. Quick PSA, if you do not have a real ID compliant license, you'll need a passport to fly after October 1st of 2020. Don't forget that. I also learned that when American says boards in 25 minutes, they mean 25 minutes. Not much to do at the Boise airport, so get right to the boarding process. I'm sitting in 3F in first class. First class is a 2-2 configuration with a hard bulkhead, which provides a place to hang coats. Seat pitch on American Airlines on this particular A320 is 36 inches and the seat width is 21 inches. I will say the high back seat in front of you made it feel a little snug. like the little cubby, great place to store my camera. Trying out my new suction cup mount for the window today. If you'd like to get your own suction cup mount, I'll put a link in the description for you. Just a quick de-ice for a little frost on the wings and the fuselage. And if you're not a follower of my channel, I recently flew on Alaska Airlines and I have trip reports there if you want to give them a comparison look. post takeoff and landings on a separate YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video as well as in the description. Since there is no seatback screen, you can use the provided free Wi-Fi or buy a pass. Here are the prices. I'd hope to get a day pass for the Wi-Fi on my flights today. $16 per flight seemed a bit steep to me. I'd hope to do speed tests. The in-flight service begins with the hot towel. Let's check out the free entertainment options. After we watch a short commercial. Plenty of choices available. But my favorite in-flight entertainment is looking out the window, typically. I mentioned in the intro there was a light breakfast, sea salt caramel bar, premium granola, and a yogurt. Unfortunately, the sea salt caramel bar and premium yogurt both contained wheat. I am not allowed to eat wheat. Eating it would have consequences that I don't wish to discuss in polite company. Did get one of my favorite in-flight experiences of a flyby from another aircraft. And I watched the movie Midway with my breakfast. If you like the music on today's flight, 
it is available from Epidemic Sound. I will put a link to that as well in the description. One of my favorite things to fly over is always going to be the Grand Canyon. I never get tired of looking at the massive hole in the ground that is the Grand Canyon. I still have not visited Grand Canyon in my adult life. I need to do that. It's on my to-do list. The only town I noticed out my window was Ash Fork, Arizona. Go Spartans! And right before landing, mints were passed out. As we prepare for landing, I'll mention a couple highlights of today's flight. Had I been able to eat the entire meal, the light breakfast would have been very good. The sea salt caramel bar and granola in the yogurt would have been quite tasty. It's a little disappointing that both options were filled with wheat. I mentioned before I cannot have wheat. I am a full-fledged celiac, so wheat is off limits to me. There were no issues with the free streaming of the in-flight entertainment. My ongoing complaint is I always will prefer to have a seatback screen over streaming on my own device. I recently lost my charging cord for my iPhone. If you've ever looked for a replacement cord at the airport, they are very expensive. I would prefer to save the battery and use a seatback screen instead. Takeoff and landings are posted separately on my aviation channel. You can find it on YouTube by searching for Trizity Loves Airplanes. I'll also put links at the end of this video and in the description below. I mentioned earlier, I did not partake of the in-flight Wi-Fi. $16 for a less than two hour flight seemed a little steep to me. I had hoped to do speed tests from each of the flights today, but based on those prices, I decided it wasn't really worth it. I did do speed tests in the Admirals Clubs. So if you stay tuned for future trip reports, you'll be able to see those. We're landing on runway eight at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport today. Welcome to Phoenix. Flight details today, this was an Airbus A320. Flight time, one hour and 35 minutes from Boise to Phoenix. It was a lovely flight. Next up is another flight on American Airlines. That flight will be from Phoenix to Los Angeles on an Airbus A321. And the A321 has a slightly different seating configuration and seat than the A320. So stay tuned to check that out. If you have any questions or comments about today's flight or flying on American Airlines, Alaska Airlines, or Delta Airlines, please feel free to post those comments below. And as always, happy travels.